in his documentary titled Precision, The Measure of All Things, Marcus Dusutoy, a professor in mathematics, tells us that the ancients used the numbers 12 and 60 to tell time simply because these numbers were so highly divisible and that he loves this method because it is so mathematical. Watch this extract from the documentary. They could measure 12 hours independently of the sun or the stars. But why count 12 hours at all? The answer lies in how business was done thousands of years ago. Throughout the Middle East, the number 12 and the number 60 were important in commerce. They're numbers that were familiar to traders in markets just like this. And the reason they used them is all to do with arithmetic. As a mathematician, I love the answer because it's about the mathematical properties of these two numbers. They're highly divisible. Take the number 60. I can divide 60 beans into six groups of 10 beans, five groups of 12 beans, four groups of 15 beans, three groups of 20 beans, five there, two groups of 30 beans, or one group of 60 beans. But take 100 beans, how can I divide that? I can divide it into two groups of 50, but divide by three, I've got to start cutting a bean. Because the numbers 12 and 60 were so familiar to Egyptians, it was perhaps no great conceptual leap for them to come up with a 12-hour night and day. So the idea stuck. I am a great admirer of Professor de Sutue's work and his quest to find answers to the greatest questions in our universe. I urge you to watch all his documentaries. They are very informative and he is brilliant. In my quest to find truth, I found that the Fibonacci sequence is creating the cycle of 60 numbers that repeat into infinity. When I arrange these 60 numbers around the circumference of a circle, I find that it creates a perfect human clock and even shows the 12 hour marks. When I add the sum of all these numbers, less the fives and zeros that mark off the 12 hours, I get a total of 240, which to me signifies the 24 hours in a day. I am not a mathematician. I have tried to contact Professor Dusutoy numerous times via email but to date have had no response, not even an acknowledgement that my emails were being received. All I want to ask him is, could our ancient ancestors not have known about this Fibonacci 60 digit clock? Is this maybe why they use 12 and 60 in our clocks? As someone who loves mathematics, is this not a better or more mathematical reason for using 12 and 60? Later on in the documentary, Professor de Sutue goes on to explain why we use 360 degrees in a circle. As you can see here. In the 15th and 16th centuries, as the mechanisms became more accurate, the clock face itself appeared, something we now take for granted. It then became possible to break down our day into even smaller units. For the first time, the hour could be divided into minutes and seconds. The idea came from the Greek mathematician Ptolemy, who divided a circle into 360 equal parts called degrees. He then split each degree into 60 minutes, and each minute into 60 second minutes.
which gave us the words we use today. I want you to see what happens when I combine two of my Fibonacci 60 digit clocks together into a Venn diagram. Each clock is made up of 60 numbers. When I combine them into the Vesica Pisces, they immediately start to generate the number 360, which we use in our compasses. In this very same documentary, Professor de Sotoy talks about the elitist academic world and how these highly educated people don't easily accept new ideas when they come from an unrecognized or unestablished source. They don't see how someone who is not educated in their prestigious schools could come up with answers that they could not. I know that if I can get in touch with Professor de Sotoy, he will give this discovery some serious investigation. Could our ancient ancestors have known that the Fibonacci sequence is making a perfect human clock? Is this in fact why they used the numbers 12 and 60 as our units of time. If so, this discovery is going to change all our history books. But there's also so much more hidden in this Fibonacci 60 digit cipher. Answers that could unlock all the secrets of time and space, which would not only change our history, but also unlock our future. Please help me get in touch with Professor de Sotoy by sharing this video. Post these links to him if possible. To learn more about the Fibonacci 60 digit cipher, please watch the videos attached.